How to make a game is one of the most thoroughly discussed game dev topics on YouTube. As someone who majored in games programming, I can assure you, learning how to make a game is child's play. But learning how to make the game? That's much harder. So, I'm giving you an alternative approach. It all comes down to this. A game design document. GDD. And hear me out. This is the easiest step. Everyone can write words on paper. You don't need experience in art, code or anything else. Just writing a solid design document instead of keeping it all in your head is a bigger step towards making your game than most people ever take. Right now, your game idea is probably like this. A blurry, low-resolution image in your head. If you just jump into a game engine and start dragging things around, you will end up with a mess that even you don't want to play. A GDD forces you to break your blurry image down into sharp, high-resolution puzzle pieces. You have to write it all down. Be as thorough as possible. Let's say your idea is a Pokemon, but with guns. That's not an idea. It's a prompt. Your GDD forces you to answer the real questions. How does it look? How does it play? Do you have the gun? Or does your Pokemon have the gun? Is it turn-based? Is it a shooter? Your first GDD will be messy. It won't be perfect. But learning how to make a game from a document instead of from a vague feeling is a crucial skill in both professional and personal game development. Now, a GDD can get a little overwhelming. Luckily, the internet is full of tutorials on how to write a solid one. And to help, here's a quick list of what a GDD should generally include. Searching how to for each of these topics will help you understand game creation on a much deeper level. And here is the real secret. Once you have your GDD, you will never have to search how to make a game ever again. Instead, you take one of your puzzle pieces and you type that into the search bar. How to add a character to my game. How to attach a gun to my character. How to design a simple inventory UI. We've transformed one impossible problem into a hundred small, solvable problems. Think about it this way. In my studies, we would get a homework, like add a music home slider to your game, and then had to go find a solution for that one specific task. A well-structured GDD does that exact same thing. It gives you your homework. After you've written your GDD, you can ask for feedback from mentors or even AI. But for your first few games, I strongly recommend you avoid AI. It can put you on autopilot. And for a complete beginner, that can seriously damage your learning experience. Now, once you have your GDD, you can start thinking about the other things. Those how to make a game tutorials mention. With my decade of experience, here is every piece of advice you are about to hear. Speedrun style. Ready? Make small games. Your dream MMO can wait. Learn more from 10 finished small games than one unfinished massive one. As you get better, your games can get bigger. But the smaller you start, the easier it is to finish. Play to your strength. Not an artist? Make your code. Do the heavy lifting with insane mechanics. Not a coder, amazing art and music can carry a game a long way. A masterpiece doesn't have to be perfect at everything, but it should aim to be perfect at something. Social media isn't an option. Making a game in 2025 means you need feedback, visibility and wish lists. It's much easier to get funding if you can show that thousands of people are already following your game. Nobody will steal your idea. Ideas are worthless. Execution is everything. Keeping your project a secret often does more damage than talking about it. Make your game feel good. Simple button press should be an event. 
you sound, VFX, camera shake, all that juice to make every single action satisfying. Finish what you start. The last 10% of a project feels like 9% of work, but an unfinished game isn't a game at all. And remember, you decide what finished means. Fail fast. You see your game through different glasses than everyone else. Don't spend years on a project that nobody wants to play. Now you are ready. If you still feel like you don't know how to make a game, go watch those other videos. But instead of watching passively, you will be actively hunting for the specific puzzle pieces you need to build your game according to your plan. So, if you're still here, close this video, open a blank document and start designing. Stop wanting to make a game. Start designing one. Thanks for watching.